Hi everyone, in this video, we're taking a look at when to brew tea in Yuxin clay. If you're interested in premium tea, make sure to subscribe to our channel for new videos like this one each week. Yuxin clay has long been regarded as one of the most premium materials for teaware. Its fame is due to its rarity since it's only produced along the eastern shores of Lake Tai in China's Jiangsu province. It's also renowned for its ability to enhance the flavor of tea. Yixin clay is created by pulverizing stone, which is blended with water and aged until it turns to clay. It is then fired at a higher temperature than most teaware, giving it glass-like qualities. Unlike other teaware, Yixin clay is always left unglazed, allowing its specific mineral content and porosity to interact with your tea as it brews. Yixin clay has the unique ability to reduce tannins and bitterness in tea resulting in a smoother mouthfeel with a longer lasting, richer finish. However, this impressive material is not suited for all tea styles. Lighter teas with delicate aromas like green tea can be overpowered by Yixin clay and lose their complexity. Instead, Yixin clay is ideal for brewing darker styles like oolongs and pours that can stand up to the clay's effects. With these styles, Yixin clay produces a smoother and more satisfying taste. Yixin clay is also good at retaining heat, which is perfect for these darker teas, since they usually require a higher brewing temperature. Because the clay is porous, over time Yixin clay teapots will absorb the essence of the tea you brew in it. So each pot should be dedicated to a single style of tea. We have other videos on Yixin pot craftsmanship, how to choose a teapot, and how to care for Yixin clay if you're interested. To learn more about premium teaware, visit redblossomtea.com. Make sure you leave a like and comment below if you found this video helpful, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future videos.